Hi, I'm Mark Goldblatt, and this is Trailers from Hell. And now we're going to go absolutely insane as we talk about Dario Argento's return to Jalo with 1982's Tenebrae. Unfortunately, it wasn't released in the United States until 1984 under the title Unsane, which was cut by 10 minutes, having lost all of its signature Argento gore and most of its logic. It had a minor theatrical release and ended up on VHS, which was my first exposure to it, but it wasn't until I scored an uncut letterbox Japanese laser disc that I really got the full experience of the wonders of Tenebrae. Tenebrae means darkness, and ironically, Dario had his director of photography, Luciano Tavoli, film much of it in bright light. This was a markedly different look and style than Suspiria with its highly saturated primary colors. It was colder, like ice, as Dario says. Everything was white. The night scenes are hyper-illuminated and hyper-realistic, which adds to the tension. The story centers on Peter Neal, played very sympathetically by Anthony Franciosa a successful New York mystery writer who travels to Rome to promote his latest novel, Tenebrae. Upon arrival, he discovers that the contents of his luggage have been ripped up, and worse, that someone is committing a series of murders patterned after the plot of his book. He also receives threatening phone calls and letters. Peter takes it upon himself to play sleuth, feeling a responsibility to stop the killer. The film includes several beautifully choreographed set pieces of mayhem infused by a violent eroticism of underlying sexual repression. The first victim is a young woman observed by the unseen killer shoplifting a copy of Tenebrae and who is subsequently caught by the bookstore's manager. She bargains her way out of jail with an offer of sex. This does not bode well. And her subsequent demise is skillfully composed and choreographed. Argento takes his murder scenes seriously and they often feel like ritualized ballet and the hands of the murderer are always Dario's. Tenebrae is, in my opinion, heavily influenced by Agatha Christie and Conan Doyle, who's actually quoted in the movie, but with a modern visual palette and montage. There's one bravura shot lasting almost three minutes. It took two and a half days to shoot, and is one of the earliest uses of the Luma Crane, in which a voyeuristic camera follows a victim-to-be after she enters her house, as seen through one of the windows, and then the camera continues to explore the rest of the house from the outside, all in one continuous shot, as we climb up and along the roof, sometimes catching a glimpse of the murderer and the woman's housemate as we peer inside before all hell breaks loose. It creates great expense and is structurally a risky shot because it is self-contained, and at first glance doesn't seem to further the story on its own. So naturally, the American distributor wanted it cut out of the movie. But Dario refused, and rightly so. Tenebrae is a stylish and complex murder thriller with twists and turns and a pretty shocking conclusion. I've watched it numerous times and always enjoy it. If you've never watched a Dario Argento film, I should point out that there are some moments of extreme violence and gore in most of his films. And although somewhat tamer in this regard than most of his work, Tenebrae is no exception. It's Argento at his best, and I think a true classic of its type. Mm -hmm.